Michael Poke here. This is Word Processing Exercise 5. And this is taken from Practice IT Book 1 and this is what it looks like from the book. So the task we are doing should look like this when we've finished. Now with this exercise there are some tricky things happening with tab stops so do make sure you are following along very carefully. Okay, so first things first, we need the heading. Let's just highlight the heading. We want to center it, so center a line. We want to make the font size bigger, 14. Let's bold it as well. We don't need that anymore. Now let's change the text color here to a dark red. Great. Notice when we hit enter it's still centered and still bold. We want to get rid of that. Let's just unbold it. Change it back to 12 and make the left align there instead of centered. Change the text back to black. We want to put in um, a tab stop so we can include these little subheadings. So at about nine it might be different on yours but uh, let's go for me I'm going to go nine I'm going to add a center tab stop see that little symbol there and again over here at about 13 and a half another center tab stop so when I hit tab it moves over sold hit the tab key so that it goes over to the next tab stop. Royalties. So I'm just copying straight from the book. So when I hit enter or return, it goes to the next line. I'm going to type in performo. I'm going to tab across again and type in millions. One more tab. Millions. Just typing it exactly as I see it in the book. Okay, hit an extra enter. So for this section, I don't want these centered tab stops anymore. So I'm going to grab that tab stop and I'm going to drag it into the middle and drop it. Drag it into the off into the page and drop it. Notice that they're gone. But you'll notice when I go back up to here, they come back again. Why is that? Because I have added those tab stops on those two lines. So these two lines have the tab stops. The line above and below don't. So for this section we want to have some different tab stops. So I'm going to click on about there. I'm going to add a left, uh, no a right tab stop actually. And I'm going to add a right tab stop about here as well. So just so that it sits under the these headings about here. Add a right tab stop. First I need to type in the the artist Katy Perry. When I tab over I can put in 6.62. Notice how when I type now that the numbers go in that direction. That's why it's called a right tab stop. The centered ones the text moves from the center. These ones go from the right. So 6.62 tab across 14.75, hit enter, T-Y-L-L-R-S-W-I-F-T, Taylor Swift, 10.42, tab again, 25.83, enter. I need to highlight all of those headings and I need to change the color to blue, maybe that one, and bold and that is exactly how it should look. If you do it any other way it's going to look not as neat as this and you will have missed the point. Um, and now I just need to submit the task in Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.